angle so you guys can see so like i said this is the british tan patricia legacy flap um it also has this zipper right here and i'm just going to go ahead and zip it it's a beautiful ykk zipper it's zips like butter for it being 20 plus years old this is the inside flap this is the famous bonnie cashin little zipper pull it adds beautiful detail it has the o-ring right here and it has one two three chain links connecting to the actual zipper and the creed is right here it's stamped and it says the number and then j9z 9951 now the first three are going to be varied by like the manufacturing date and where it was born and plant and whatnot um, but here's the front um, little pocket right here, the main pocket, and then you don't forget there's also a back pocket back here as well. And these are the buckles. I think this is a better angle because the window is shining a lot of light through. I couldn't get this white stain out right here, but that's okay. It'll be fine because it's on the inside. But this is British Tan. I let her dry completely. This is the strap. So with your strap, it should have four prongs. Me and my mom, personally, we like the brass versus the nickel. So that's what we tend to go for. This has four um, brass prongs. So one, two, three, four. They're about an inch apart and then an inch from the actual um this is what i just measure with an inch so it's like an inch from the actual lip itself and then each one is spaced out about an inch um away from each other this is the raw suede lining right here and i'm going to go ahead and condition it with the leather cpr this is 11.99 at your local tractor supply don't go ahead and buy it on amazon they hiked it up double the price it's like 25 dollars plus shipping and tax and whatnot so check your local tractor supply if they don't have it check your local feed store and see if they have it now i did stuff it yesterday and as you guys can see there is a shape it's standing by itself this bag has no feet at all this is the bottom there is, it's looking a little rough on the bottom. That's because I haven't conditioned it yet. But this right here is not a pocket. It's just actually the back seam to this back pocket right here. So you can probably put your phone, your wallet. You could probably fit a tablet back here if you really want to squeeze that in there. I don't know how big your tablet would be. Um, there's still scratches right here, but that's okay. It gives it character. But the Patricia Legacy has absolutely no feet. I don't know if you guys would want to add feet if you would keep this in your collection, then it might be a great thing for you. I think you'll be able to penetrate the leather with the feet, but this one has no feet. The stewardess has feet, the 9966 has feet, but this one does get in made in the Dominican Republic. Now, whenever it says Dominican Republic, Turkey, Hungary, China, um, Costa Rica, it doesn't mean it's fake. It just means um, it's very much real, especially because Coach, back in the 90s, they actually outsourced to other countries to lower their pay to their employees. So they outsourced in different countries for cheaper um labor so this one was actually made in the dominican we have one that's made from turkey one that's made from hungary can united states um we don't have one that's made from costa rica yet but you guys will probably actually see the true color whenever i take it outside and do some pictures of it but we were watching birdie bloom and she said how you can tell the actual color of the bag is you turn the flap upside down like the the actual raw suede lining and that's what you can best match um the color with because it's hard to tell from the outside especially if it's been treated with something or it's been conditioned and the leather looks darker so always look underneath the flap of what bag you got i'm going to go ahead and sit down and we're going to go ahead and condition this um i'm not going to condition the back where the raw suede is i'm going to leave that alone i'm just going to condition the actual leather itself on the front side the smooth side and I'm just going to use my hands so it can melt into the leather better. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And condition this with my hands. I'm just going to rub it in. And they also sell like a bigger bottle, a little more expensive. I want to say it's like $31 the last time I checked. And we're not going to use this right away. We're going to let it dry. And this is dermatologist tested. So 
It's not going to irritate your skin, especially if you have sensitive skin and you're just using your hands on it. I'm going to go ahead and get the bottom. You guys need to use something to clean the verdigris. Use Brasso, use the blue cream that you can find. I think it's called Blue Magic. You can find it on Amazon. It'll take the verdigris away. I'm gonna go ahead and condition the bottom. So I'm just gonna hold the inside with my hand. Just gonna rub it in like lotion. You can use a rag to do this, but I prefer my hand because the warmth from your hand actually melts it into the leather better. And I don't know if the previous person who had this actually conditioned her bag or not. So this bag might be thirsty, might have not had a conditioning in a while, who knows. And I'm going to condition the actual strap as well. But we're not going to condition the raw lining. You just leave that alone. And this doesn't smell like anything. The leather conditioner, it doesn't smell like anything. There's no scent. There's no smell. It's a very thick... It's very hard to describe what it feels like, but... Maybe like a gel-like Vaseline. That's the best way I could describe it. I'm going to go ahead and hit the corners where the buckle is. Make sure you get where the buckle is because that's a leather piece. You don't want to abandon that. And you can't use this yet. You need to let it dry completely with the leather CPR on it. I'm going to go ahead and do this one right here, this panel. And then we're going to get that inside pocket as well. I'm just literally rubbing it in like lotion. And this little piece of leather right here, make sure you get near the zipper. This is also used on leather sofas, leather jackets, all types of stuff. So if you guys have any leather pieces and you don't know a good conditioner, try leather CPR. Like I said, check your local tractor supply first before you go and spend $25, $26 on Amazon. I'm also going to shape it again. I'm just making sure I coat every single part of the bag. I'm probably going to get this back pocket right here as well. I'll probably hit the bottom again. So this is what it looks like after one coat of leather CPR. It's gonna dry. Coat of leather CPR. We're gonna go ahead and let this dry. I'm gonna work on the strap now. Let me go ahead and do the leather pull as well. I forgot. Let me just get the front flap again. So this is gonna dry up. While we do the strap, the leather darkened a little bit. That's because it's kind of wet from the conditioner. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. Now we're going to work on the strap. Don't do the raw suede on the other side. Just do the front side where it's actually the, like the front. Don't do where this part is right here because that's the back side. 
I'm just going to go ahead and run that leather conditioner all the way down. Some ladies use rags, and then some ladies use, like, pieces of t-shirts. Some people use microfibers. I like to use my hands, because you can really get into the grooves, and then the conditioner melts with the warmth of your hands. I'm going to go ahead and use a little more. It's not sticky, and it, the best way I could describe this leather conditioner, it looks like glue, like Elmer's glue. I'm going to go ahead and condition the end really well as well. Okay, so that is what the strap looks like. This is going to go ahead and dry as well as the bag. And then probably the next clip you guys will see me in will be outside to where you guys can actually see the natural color whenever everything is done but this i'm going to go ahead and let dry Okay, y'all, so this is what the bag looks like. This is the 9951 Patricia in British Tan by Coach. This is part of their vintage line. I'm sorry, it's super windy, but I just had to show you what the bag looks like in natural lighting. How beautiful is this bag? I cleaned her up, and she looks good as new. Um, vintage Coach has some of the best leathers, so we are on our way to starting a full-on collection. We also have a black one with brass hardware. This is British Tan with brass hardware, and their hardware and their leather back then was just immaculate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm so sorry for the wind, but I had to show you guys in natural lighting what the actual leather bed looks like. I hope you guys have a great one, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, y'all.